It's freaking windy. <laughs> <laughs> Ego check. <laughs> no, no, no. What's up, dog? How's it going? Good. Dude, guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we're basically reviewing each other's vehicles. We got Jordan on the way. We got Isaac on the way as well. And basically the idea is we're going to review each other's cars. Now, I've already done Jordan's car, RTR Spec 5 wide body Mustang. And that only leaves one question. What's Isaac bringing and what should I bring? I feel like you should bring something different and don't bring the challenger because don't bring the challenger that. um why do you think they expect the challenger because you built your whole channel channel around it and then it's, it's just something like you're associated with but let's throw them a curveball why don't you bring, why not the drift car uh, it's a little newer it's a little you newer. think it's kind of obvious a uh, little you you've been promoting a little but let's just throw them a huge curveball that they would not expect so you're saying the jeep, jeep. Brian, do you think that they expect you to bring out the Jeep today? Not at all. I think they're going to be completely shocked because I've only talked about the Jeep, but nobody has ever seen it. I think you're like the second person to actually see it. Yeah. Yeah. And I was amazed by it, dude. Like, yeah. It took how long to make this? I think we're on year nine. I mean, it's drivable. I've got, let's see how many miles are on it. <laughs> so it's got 800 <laughs> miles. So it's a fresh rebuild and everything. Oh, um, that's a GR that's Corolla. A GR. But he did say he was going to buy a GR... Cor is he? <laughs> Alright, here's the deal. Here's the deal. Jordan did call me and say that he was looking at a Subaru WRX and a GR Corolla. He asked me my opinion and we were on speaker, my wife was in the car, and we both said GR Corolla. So if that was his GR Corolla. That thing's nice. It that sounded nice. That thing is nice. Now we gotta go buy new cars, dude. That's not fair. I know, I gotta trade in the Civic. <laughs> gotta trade in the Civic. <laughs> All right, let's see this thing. Dude. We called it. Dude. We, dude, we knew that oh, was him. Dude. What? Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> what an entry. Oh man. Did it. What's up? Now it all makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> dude, we saw it pull up and I said, dude, I'm pretty sure that was him. <laughs> dude. So, you know the other day when you were talking to me on the phone and you were like, so what did you decide about the Corolla? And you said you didn't know. I was standing there looking at it. <laughs> so, so what I exactly told him was, I don't know the price, just I don't like the price, which I didn't like. I don't like the price of this thing, <laughs> but I went ahead and got it anyway. So here we go, GR Corolla. What did you think I was going to bring? You know what? I, I honestly thought it was going to be the Challenger. I really thought it was going <laughs> to be the Challenger. You, dude. <laughs> <laughs> told you, told you. I, I knew everybody was going to think I was bringing the Challenger or the Drift Mustang because it's my latest build. Yeah. But it's all going to make sense when we talk about it, I promise. Right. Awesome. Let's take a look at the GR Corolla. <laughs> If Isaac shows up with an iced coffee, I'm gonna beat his ass. Dude, if he shows up with like breakfast tacos in hand, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Something not good. He was something not good. Probably <laughs> eat his tacos, huh? Probably eat it. That sounded weird. Slightly. It's okay. <laughs> I'm telling you right now, I'm not even looking. It's going to be the drift car. <laughs> I'm looking at it. <laughs> I'm looking at it too. Oh, uh, it's the, it's the Fox bot. Uh, no, should I look? It, 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 look. look. Just look. <laughs> oh, it's a drift car. I called it. I called it. All right guys, so all the cars are here. We've got the drift car, the GR Corolla, and the Jeep CJ7. So we're gonna accomplish three tasks. One of them is gonna be simple driving on the road, grabbing a coffee, and going through a car wash. Now we're just trying to decide who's driving what. No one says what they want to drive. I know what I want to drive. So what are we gonna do, uh, Jordan? <laughs> I think, so just to be fair, we could rock, paper, scissor it, but I, eh. I say we put the keys in the middle, we step back, one, two, three, come in and gra grab a key. How far back are we stepping? I, I say three steps back. Okay. 
I feel well. I have all the keys there. All the gentlemen. Ready? Isaac, you're too far forward. Move back. All right, cool. Three, three, two, one, run. <laughs> Isaac! Isaac! Oh, oh, God. God. <laughs> all right, I got the uh, I got the drift car. I got the drift Good Mustang. Luck. Isaac, what'd you get? I got the Corolla. The Corolla. I got the Jeep. You got the Jeep. <laughs> Basketball pack is paid off. <laughs> gotta box them out, man. God dang. I, I didn't expect I was going right for the Corolla, too. <laughs> okay, so first up, Drift Mustang. Let's get it. Okay, so one thing I just realized is, Isaac, you are way shorter than I am. Like, I'm 6'2". How tall are you? Six. You're six? Yeah. The two inches make a difference, bro. There's breakups because of two inches, you know that? <laughs> so, all right, let me try and get in here. Dang, oh, dang, I'm already hitting it. Oh, shit. That was actually very majestic. Dude, my legs are touching the dash. <laughs> uh, so the good thing is it's on sliders. Oh, you are? Yeah. <laughs> I like how you tell them that. <laughs> Why didn't you tell me that? <laughs> Buddy. That was a hammer. That was a Buddy. <laughs> okay, we're good now. <laughs> Thanks, dude. Okay, so just letting you know, if the check engine light comes on, here's the OBD2 two scanner. Okay. Um, you can't go over 70. Okay. And if you hear weird noises, it's a drift car. You're good. Okay. Alright, goodbye. No air back. Oh, what about my seatbelts? Oh yeah. We're just harnesses? A, yeah, it's a four-point harness. Dude, this is the worst car. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, okay. <laughs> I'm just saying, okay, okay. <laughs> let's crank this buddy out, let's see what we got here. This car, it's a riot. I'm sure Isaac's gonna say something about the way that I've been driving it. But we're almost to our first destination here. So let's see how everybody else's driving experience uh, has been faring for them. You know what, I knew you were an adrenaline junkie, but this takes it to a whole nother level. I thought I was gonna <laughs> die. You can bleep that, I don't care. What, in the Jeep? In yeah. the Jeep. Bumps wanted to flip us and take my life. I have children, Brian. <laughs> Test one, coffee. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad I got that. It just fell off. Hey, how are you? I'm doing good. How about yourself? Pretty good. I'm gonna do a annihilator. Yeah. How are you doing? Good. How are you? Thank you. Have a nice one. You too. I suppose like it's gonna annihilate me. Alright. Hence the name, Annihilator. Alright, I'd say that was pretty easy. Yeah, this was actually really easy. I was right at window level. I didn't have to worry about anything. So yeah. And you got cup holders. I was very surprised by that. So that's good. They don't really hold much. And if you hit a bump, that drink is gone, brother. <laughs> if you hit a bump in this thing, you're gone. <laughs> All right, next up, Isaac. Oh, too easy. <laughs> you know, it's super cozy. But this is, this is the best part. This is the best part. Yeah. Give me those keys, brother. Here, you want... take this. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> so give me those keys. Where are the keys? I don't want to. There you go. GR Corolla, baby. All right. Cry. And give I uh, got the drift stang. Yeah. got the drift stang. There you go. Ugh. All right, I guess I'm walking home. Bye, Bye guys. <laughs> All right, so what's next? Car wash. We've driven these cars so far that they need a wash. So that's what we're going to do. Okay? I'm taking the GR Good Corolla. Luck. Wait a minute, isn't that like sacrilege to take a new car through a car wash? Uh, I don't, Especially I don't know. Especially one of the automatic ones. Yeah, big time. It is? Yeah. I don't really care. Do you care? I don't care. I bought this to rally it, so this is the <laughs> nicest thing that's ever going to happen to it. All right, let's get after it. All right, guys. I am in the GR Corolla, and this car is flipping sweet, dude. I had no idea. It's got a digital gauge cluster, 
uh, the infotainment systems. It's nice and high, nice and clean. Um, yeah, it's got the new car smell. All the stickers are still on it. Let's go ahead and turn on these heated seats for a nice drive. It's actually pretty windy and it's pretty cold out. And I'm just getting over a head cold, uh, the flu actually. Um, so I'm still kind of in a little bit of pain. But yeah, this is actually super, super nice. The seats are comfortable. Oh man, I love the, uh, the leather and Alcantara uh, change in the seats. I love that. Um, yeah, this car is nice. All right, so that was a pretty short drive in the GR Corolla. Sport mode, I've got it in 30, 70, so 30% uh, bias differential to the front and then 70% to the rear. So pretty much mostly rear wheel drive. I'll tell you guys what, once you start getting into those higher RPMs and that turbo spools and kicks in, this thing's a little ripper. I can see why this is a ton of fun. Now I'm at the car wash. Technically, I'm giving this thing its first wash. Um, and then... Jose spilled coffee in the Jeep, so he needs to clean that out. Let me get the cheapest one. Every sensor is going off on this thing. But I'm glad it's not auto stopping it, like some newer cars do. I'm curious if Jordan got the Mustang through because last time I came here with my drift Mustang, I was entirely too low to get on the car wash and they had to back me out. It was 100% embarrassing. So I wonder if he got through because Isaac's Mustang is super low. All right, this car wash is almost done. Let's link up with the boys and see what happens. Ugh. It's freaking windy. <laughs> it is freaking windy today, dude. Oh man, that was a ton of fun. Yeah. I had fun. I had fun kicking out Isaac's car and drifting it, especially because it's not my car. It's always fun when it's somebody else's car. I had fun putting that in track mode and ripping on it. Not for long, but it was still fun. And I had fun seeing you guys struggle in the Jeep or fear for your lives, whatever it is you want to call it. I had actually a lot of fun in the Jeep. I mean, I, I have a carbureted car, which is my Fox body, which I was saying earlier. And it's not super similar, but it's not too bad to where I'm like, oh shit, I don't know what to do. How about you? I had, overall, I had a great day today. Uh, Life-threatening incidents aside, but I had a lot of fun in the Jeep, and no offense to Isaac, I feel like the Jeep was the best experience for me because I'm used to Mustangs. I've been in an S197, I'm used to that world. I've never driven a Jeep before. That's the very first Jeep I've ever driven. And a vintage yes. classic Jeep. I've been in them, I've seen them on the trails, but never driven a Jeep. So it was a cool experience to have, for sure. Awesome, hey, did you have fun? Dude, I loved every minute of this. Um, so far, I've got to experience everything from the drift car, Jeep, Corolla, right? Um, so far, all of these are great, um, each in their own right. Again, drift car, daily commuter newer car, and then the classic Jeep. So it's amazing seeing all the versatility that all these cars offer. Yeah, I mean, I don't know what you're gonna get into, but when you do, you're gonna go either classic race car or something that can do it all, like the GR Corolla. So I would say though, Jose, you got to benefit from our pain, suffering, and our <laughs> dollars. Because when you decide that you find a vehicle that you want to go into, you've tested all of this stuff out. Yeah. Whereas we had to go through on the bottom and work our way up to where we are right now. You're you're getting into the prime of it, man. You really get to sort yeah. it out and decide where, where your niche is. And then off camera, off camera, he saw the Challenger and you could see how you can make a street car, but still be like a race car. I promise you it's kind of a stiff ride, but you saw how clean it was. Yeah, it doesn't have to be complete race car. It doesn't have to be complete vintage, but I'm telling you right now, if I had to pick one car to drive every single day, it'd be the GR Corolla. Yeah, dude. I, I, <laughs> uh oh, <laughs> ego check. Ego no, check. no, no, because I clearly I brought the best car today. I understood the assignment, um, but I struggled with picking that car out, you know, because I called you. Yep. Um, but the more time I spend behind the wheel of that, the more I enjoy it. And it sounds stupid to a lot of people that you're going to spend that kind of money on a car and not sure if you even like it. But knowing what I'm planning to do with that car, I'm very happy with that selection. It's, it's great. You can do everything with it, and it's got so much potential. Well, we got your point of view. We got your guys' point of view. I am not going to spoil. Dude, my hair is nuts. We're not even going to edit this out. I'm not going to spoil their end of the video. So, guys, if you want to check out how their, their day went in the GR Corolla, in the Jeep CJ7, definitely check out 
their videos. Do me a favor, leave a comment down below. Let me know what else you guys want to see in these videos. Hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe. Until next time, guys, peace out. Let's go to Chewy's. Yeah. Chewy's. Ooh.